Hello there viewer, I'm Lee Sass. Welcome back to Hydronia. Um, should we buy a new toy? Sure. Let's buy a casting mould. I, I hope now I've got enough money. I've got loads of money in here. Oh, not anymore. Uh, easy come, easy go. That's fine. We'll take this over here. Because I already have some new things over here already. We have here a, uh, um, is it a furnace? What do they call it? What do they call it again? A small furnace. That suggests there might be a big furnace at some point. I don't know. It's good. Why is it not? Why has it gone out? Maybe I'll come back on in a minute when I put this on here. Over here we have a crucible, and it's full of gold. Gold, I tell you. Put it on here. Oh, have I broken it? Why are you not lighting up anymore? That's really worrying. I've never had it not work before. Why is it not working? Have I broken it? Is it not working anymore? It should just come on. It should just light up on fire. How funny. You know what? Oh, I know why. I've got to place it. So there's the difference between placing it down and dropping it. Thank goodness for that. Uh, I'm dropping it rather than placing it. So again, you've got to be careful with this one. Because if I placed that there, placing a crucible empties it like a bucket. So it would have chucked all my gold into here. I don't know I got it back. I'm going to leave it for a while to, uh, to heat up. So what I've been doing here... I've got a load more shards. I've got some more iron. Other things. But I've been I've been doing what you've seen me doing so far, which is long range shoveling. There you go. As exciting as that, huh? But I should actually have a lot of gold in there now. There's another piece. There you go. And what I've been doing is I'm putting the gold straight in the um, the crucible. Over here. Are you done yet? No, you're still heating. The only thing oh it's done. The only thing I'm worried about here is I've got a lot more gold than Um This be empty. Uh, gold so you can you can put one nugget into this and make a little wee a wee wee gold bar. You'd have to make a big one. Um But I don't know how it how it deals with bigger versions so the really big ones like they seem to have like bars in the top of them like cutouts in the top of them but i'm not sure what value this is if you just you know this is the biggest bar you can get and therefore the, there's a maximum value or it can keep on going up no okay so <laughs> that's worth a lot so when you start to get towards bigger bar size about this sort of size i've seen things from about 80 quid up right 80 coins up so the bar hasn't physically got any bigger, but it's worth a lot more. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of bucks. Um, I was worried about that. Because one of the other things you can get is a way of cutting up bars as well. And I thought my, that might be important. Because I'm, I'm still a bit confused about how forging works. How much have we got in here now? 359. We might be able to show you, actually, is the answer. Because here's an anvil. So let's run an anvil. We need. Do we need this? We need a blacksmithing hammer. This is about as far as I've got with my own messing around doing recordings before actually recording this for you guys. I had a little play around first because uh, I'm a professional, you know. <laughs> of course I am. And, uh, and I do try to test things out beforehand. Loads of money left. Let's carry this over here. So. I've not actually made any jewel or anything like that on an anvil before now, but we might be able to make... Should we do it properly? Hold on. Let's find a place where I can put this down that's more like at ground level. And it needs to be here, near here as well, by the way. So... Are you going to go on top of there? There you are. Good stuff. Um, anvil. Click on the anvil. 
you get different chalk marks and this designates what you're going to make. Right, so while we're here, before we go and get the hammer, let's put the iron in. Yeah, I've not actually tried making a, a piece of jewellery yet, so I don't know how that's going to work. But we can try and make something out of iron. First of all, we'll see how big a iron bar we can make from this. So we'll heat this up. Iron is rarer, at least here, in this, this part of the world. Um, rarer than gold. Which makes sense for the game, because, you know, mostly in the game, what we want to do is to... Um, we want to uh, m get money at the start, don't we? And then when we go to the other areas, then we'll branch out and make different things. But anyway, so yeah, we can make different things on here. And if you look, it says one bar. No, don't pick it up again, me. See, I know I keep doing that. One. There's actually a way to solve this, by the way. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go and buy something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Over here's another sort of hammer, which will save me some of the suffering. A construction hammer. You hurt items to lock them down. So that means that, you know when I keep picking up, I, don't, I mean, maybe it won't work for the bucket, but if I keep picking up blocks by accident, if I do this, this should now, I can't hammer that. Should now, I can't hammer that either. Well, fine. Let's just dump this on the floor here. Oh, I thought I'd done an awesome balancing trick for a second. Okay, no mind. What's in here? Okay, we have some molten iron. A little wee bar. Just a wee one. We'll put this over here. And we'll use it for more gold. Have I left an iron nug on the floor there? Look at me. Look, at, I've got a bit of money. And I'm just casting things around like nobody's business, like nobody cares. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. Right, so if we get this from here. You see it's got three bars on the top. So I think that means it's worth... See, I can't pick this up now, by the way. I think it's worth three bars. So, if I make a dagger out of this, will I get some iron left over? I don't know. But this has got a three on it, and this has got a three on the top. So I think that means I can make a sword out of it. Anyway, first we go. As you know, as an expert and a very smart person, you know that a blacksmith does not simply take a piece of metal. They don't do cold smithing. Okay, you don't do. It is possible to do cold smithing, but it's not normal. You know, only a few things are cold smithed. You want a really proper piece of material, and what you do? Well, you first we put it on top of the anvil. You klutz. No, I want to hit it. Because it's not hot enough yet. There we go. I wonder if it's cooled down already. It might not be hot enough. I've hmm, let's try and heat it a bit more. Has to be hot enough. What does it used to say in, in smithing things about straw coloured, I think? For a piece that you, this is not really straw coloured, this is sort of or, 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 ready orangey. But, you know, more like the grooves in there, that sort of colour. Maybe a bit more orange is what you need to have. Oh, well that isn't helpful. Yeah, straw coloured. Is what you need. Not working, is it? For the colour of the irons. Maybe. Yes, okay, so when they, so the, this is not an indicator of how many, um, like a mark on the bar, the size of the bar, it's literally how many bars? See, I still don't know if this means that, um, what about a big bar versus a small bar? A big iron bar versus a small iron bar? Should it make a difference? I don't know the quantity of iron, am I wasting some iron here? Have I made a super dagger? 
Is this dagger worth more or less because of how much iron I've put into it? I don't understand the economy business. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, is it worth selling anything right now? No, it's not. So if I put this on here... 28. I mean, that is worth more than... If I'd sold that iron bar, I'd probably got like 20 or something for it, or 25. So it is worth more than that. Well, we're going to stick this over here. We'll sell it later. We'll wait for the wait for the, uh, the market to change. But there you go. We've done something new. Isn't that good? We've done a new thing. Um, and even if we haven't, you know, made a huge amount of money just straight away, um, we have... Let's put this somewhere. I haven't got... A, there's no chest or anything like that, but let's, let's buy one of these. We'll put them on something. Here we go. Put it on here. Gimme. Yeah, we have bought more equipment that's not going to wear out. The anvil and the thing and the thing won't wear out. So we have now done something to help towards our future. And there we go. But the question is, of course, what to do next? Oh, look at that. That's that's a hazard, isn't it? That's that's going to be a dangerous. It's like when they say you shouldn't put knives straight up in the dishwasher. Some people think it cleans them better. <laughs> but in fact, it's just a, it's just a falling hazard. There are news stories out there of people who have killed themselves. Killed yourself? Have you? Have it? You? They've had an accident. There's been an incident. An accident suggests it's someone's fault. Um, oh, it isn't. So no, an inc an accident suggests it isn't someone's fault. So they have had an accident. That was it. Yeah. Um, people have had accidents and fallen on knives arrayed in their dishwasher and died when I say stories there's at least one story of a lady I happened to I'm sure there's more than one there's bound to be so there we go so are we back to this now is this my life from now on of course it isn't no no no, no. what we're going to do so so we have about exhausted what we can do around here I, mean, I could do more of this I can do this until the uh, the cows come home ah uh, ah uh, no I would do it uh, it's fine. Look, see, I can't hurt myself. Stop, don't, stop worrying. Okay, it's fine. Um, I was going to say to the cows come home, but there were no cows. Maybe at some point in the future there'll be cows. There were fish in the water, which is why there's a fishing rod there. But there we go. So yeah, there's not much more to buy here, is there? I mean, we could buy a mining helmet, but we're not digging that deep. So we need a mining helmet for. It's frivolous. Don't need to. So let us go somewhere else. Now, if you remember the map over here, there were various locations we can go to. Um, but I'm interested in Bridgepore, which is... So if we go ahead and sort of do a U, pull a U-turn at the end there, we might go past one of the other um, other mining sites. Potential mining sites. Let's have a little sleep. Had an early eye. I worked very hard. I made a dagger. I am... Um, Made a, made a big gold bar and sold it. Here we go. Don't know how to refill this thing, by the way. The water tank is in the top. Refueled from the water tank. But I don't actually know how to refuel it. Ah, this thing is... Um, it drives about as well as you'd expect it to. It's a, it's like a piece of farm machinery. You know? So, get up here, hydro truck. And being a smart developer, they have already put in place... Um, a method if you get stuck because at some point I'm probably going to fly off the edge of this and there's a, there's a way of resetting the truck if you need to but anyway we're not going to we're not going to do that we're going to be very careful um, so this is another place up here hold on I should have brought the dagger with me I might have got a better sale hold on I think there's a there's another shop here or a stock market thing over here and maybe it varies for each town look at it it looks different but it might have changed in the other one as well I guess look see here daggers are up 15 Damn it. Let's go back and get the dagger. You know what I really wanted to do? I wanted to see, I wanted to compare the gold, the gold ore with the gold. With the gold bar. I'll tell you from why later. Never mind, I forgot. Uh, 29. So in here. Has the thing changed? Okay, so the stock market is the same the world over. Okay, the world as in the island. Um, okay, so... We got, we're getting slightly more for here 
than um, at the jewellers. Just made a note of what the price is said there. Because I want to understand a bit more about how this is working. So I might do a bit of science. Yeah, we might science it up. Where I... Um, I'll take the iron ore. How much have we got here? Not really enough to work, be worth it. I'll show you for why in a bit. Um, yeah, I might have to do some science where I... Um, Take the iron ore, see how much the iron ore is worth itself, uh, turn that into an iron bar, and compare that with the iron bar, and then turn the iron bar into a dagger, and see how much that is worth compared to the stocks. I think the, the stock prices only, only change based upon, um, oh, big assumption by the way, made items and not on raw materials. I think raw material stays um, standard all the time. It's what you've made out of it, but of course he wants to do in raw materials, huh? Unless you've got a workshop somewhere. Raw materials is about bulk. Unless they're very rare raw materials. No, no, no. We want to make things and then sell those. Ah, this does make me feel a little nauseous, I can tell you. Right. I think if we turn... Let's go up here first, but I think we turn down there for for Bridgeport. Um, what I'm looking for is a sale sign, which is here? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So this is one of the spots you can get. That's the one with the little bit of water over there. How much is this worth? 1,200 quid. One of the others is 900 and about the other one. But how would you get the water to here? I mean, does the water run out? If I suck the water out of there, will it run out? Or is it a magical, ever re 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 replenishing pool? I don't know. We'll have to find out, won't we? Anyway. Ah. Spiky, spiky, laggy, laggy. If we get in here? Sure, why not? There's no harm. See, the island is not as big as the map initially makes it look. Makes it look a little bit big. How much is this one? This is a bit closer to the seesaw. The seashore? The seashore. How much is this one worth? Come on, mate. Okay, well, we're not buying that one. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, we were. That's pretty pricey. Oh my god, this truck. Uh, get moving. It's a truck. You know, you can't expect too much of it. it once it's moving. Physics keeps it moving. Nice and fast. Here we go. This is what we're after. Okay, so this is Bridgeport. Scrap yard, I don't know what it's for. I presume it's just things like, you know, maybe my old shovel. Throwing things away. Or broken items you can't replace anymore. Things do wear out. Um, you can make... You can make. We'll look at the houses and things later. We're not interested in that right now. It's it's That's a way before we get to... Uh, Making house stuff. Need some chickens clucking around, isn't it? That's what he needs. Some clucky chickens. Maybe a goose. This is the other shop. So it has some other things that are already in the other shop. Buckets and pans and grinding wheels. But now we've got scales. Which would be interesting. I'd like to do some science with the scales, I think. But not yet. The saw for cutting bars in half. Like I said about, you know, what does that mean? Magnet on a stick. Attracts resources. I presume loose ones, but maybe not. I don't know. Some of the usual stuff. Pickaxe is just for making holes fast. Um, but the dirt is gone, okay? When you dig it up with this, the dirt goes. And of course, there's only so much dirt in the world. We could potentially use it all up. Maybe. I don't know. Um, same stuff. Here we get to the exciting stuff. A conveyor shredder. Shreds dirt chunks into smaller pieces. Water belt. But is this... Does it... So does that mean... What does that mean for dirt chunks? We dig the jerk, dirt chunks up and put them in the bucket. But does that mean the dirt chunk gives you X amount of resources? If you broke down into smaller pieces, would you get more resources from the smaller pieces? Like each small piece would have the same amount of 
stuff in it potentially as a big piece? Is it an efficiency? I don't know. I've got a sorter. So this is um, this is a simple yes no sorter. Okay. So in other words, it would if you had it running through and set on gold, then all the gold would one go one way and everything else would go the other. So we'd need multiple ones of these to make it work. A vertical conveyor, very nice. A conveyor belt, lovely. Uh, hammers and usual things and anvils, we know these. Corks, we saw those in previously. They stop the port putt. Low, low tech water stoppage system. Um, furnace, uh, tool bag, repairs, damage, ram doors. So things will wear out. Certain things do wear out. And there are pressure tanks and pressure gauges. What we're after though, drills for doing the digging. We need this. Break small chunks of dirt into resources. So if we can. You see at the top there? It's like a little spinner, it grinds up the dirt. So if we chuck dirt in here, it should spit out all the lovely goodies to be sorted later. But for now, this thing here. Um, but the critical thing on here is uh, damage from unfiltered water. So if we got this, this is 583. We'd need a filter. Where's a filter? Filter? Hello? There we go. 77. So that's 653, roughly. 660, whatever. It starts to decrease the water pressure. So we need one of these. So we need, let's call it 700. We need about 700 quid. We can get one of these. I think it'd be a funnel as well to catch the stuff coming out. Or maybe the stuff going in. I don't know. So, <laughs> 800 quid. Whatever we need. And then we'll, we'll get that. And that should hopefully increase the amount of stuff we've got coming out. Have a little look in here. Just a window shopping, yeah? Don't, don't listen to the sales money. Okay, we've not got the money to buy anything. A fancy table. Description. A fancy table. A fancy carpet. For walking on. Yeah, thank you for that. Without the G on there. We're leaving the G off is not very, for, very fancy, by the way. Fancy. What if I want to be fancy? A fancy bed for sleeping on. A throne. I don't, yeah, I don't. A golden head statue. But it's not the shape of my head, mate. Might be the shape of your head. Not my... A safe. Ooh. Okay. A big mouth Billy Bass. A fish... To, oh, I see. So you can catch the fish and put them on there. Not very edible looking fish, is it really? If I caught that, I'd definitely put it on there rather than eating it. And a plinth... Okay, well, we, we there are potentials to find, um, what do you call them, um, other items from digging up the ground in certain places. Probably in the place that costs 6000 to buy. So maybe we'll, we will want to have a plinth to put things on. Anyway, we now have a, a task now. We know what we need to be doing. I had to go back. I had to make some more bars and things like that. Maybe we'll make some jewellery. I need to do a bit of science, and uh, we will try to work out. Oh, we'll try to get enough money is what we'll do, but we'll also try and work out a bit more about how the economy works, and what the best thing to be doing with our iron is. I should have bought that saw, you know. I should have brought some coins with me, and bought that saw, and done some science with that. But never mind, I'm lost now as well. Where did that come from? Anyway, I'll try and find my way back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.